God has us all on a journey. Mine started in a small town in northwest Arkansas. He's taken my family and I all across the world. He's taken me to places I've loved. And he's taken me to places that I'd rather not remember. But everywhere he's taken care of me. We've served in churches of all sizes. We've served in small churches. We've served in churches of over a thousand. He's given me the opportunity to study in seminary. He's called me to ministry. He's put a desire in my heart to see worship done with excellence, done in a way that is acceptable to Him. Where will this journey take us now? Worship is our right response to God's revelation. God reveals himself through creation. We see his power and his divine attributes. And through his word specifically, we see his salvation. We learn more and more about God. And as he reveals himself, we respond. And that response is known as worship. So this has a couple of implications. To start with, we don't start worship. Worship never starts with man. Worship always starts with God. We don't start worship on a Sunday morning and then call God down to worship with us, to accept our worship. However, he calls us to worship. So I like to start every service with some kind of scripture, uh, something about God, just pointing to his divine attributes, pointing to his work in mankind, giving the congregation something to respond to. I don't like to start a service by saying, well, welcome, let's stand up and worship. Because the question then becomes, what are we worshiping? Who are we worshiping? What is it about God that deserves and requires our response of worship? So my job is to show them Jesus, show them the one that requires our worship because of who he is. And then simply to guide us all in the right response to who he is. And I don't have a contest 
so 